welcome to MC Moments. I'm in Tarakani, the county, Mara sub county. This place is beautiful, as you can see all around. And I'm in a hideout called Snow Peak Hotel. Amazing place to be. And if you want to come and have some well done, I would call hospitality. This is a place I would recommend. Now, on my journey all the way up, it was about three and a half hours. I was just meditating on a few things that I thought maybe we could share and really learn from each other. First thing is purely about everybody's way to achieving what I would call success. And I believe this, that everybody has something in them that they want to do in this world before they pass on. But most of the times we end up concentrating on what we don't have to achieve that. For example, the people would say, you know, I, if I had a degree, this is, then I would do this. Others would say, you know, if I had, uh, you know, this amount of money, that's when I would probably open this big business and do all these things and change the world. But I just want to encourage you that you don't have to look at those things that you don't have and you can start with whatever that you have. And so of course, the three things that I wanna share, number one is start where you stand. Basically that speaks about the geography or the place that you are, the geographical location that you're in, that you don't have to search from far. One day I decided to become a teacher and I went to kindergarten, kindergarten my friend, and I went there and decided to volunteer. I can tell you one time, two times down the line, they were asking me to stay because the kids did so well that they, th they saw the need of me staying there. I just started where I was. So you don't have to go and say I have to go you know, to this particular country or to this particular school for me to start making change. Second thing is this, use what you have. You know, I don't even have to quote exact scriptures. Everybody knows Moses is being asked by God, what do you have in your hands? He says, I have a stuff. And that's what God used to do a lot of things. Samson, we are told he kills thousands of Philistines with just a job. It's what he had. Now the question to you is this, what do you have? My friend, you can't say you don't have anything because the fact that you even have an education to class eight, that means you can do something. I have a friend as well who started a tuition, a tuition class because he had a form four class. So he decided all primary schools, kids around his village can come for some tuition. Right now, he owns a school with over 900 kids. He's used what he had. The final thing is a principle that I observe and I hope that I will observe it all uh, for the rest of my life and it's do it now, the do it now principle. You don't have to wait for tomorrow. You know the problem we have is this, some people say I have this amazing thing I want to do but I, I want to start it tomorrow. In, in fact, let's get more practical. I want to exercise so that at least I can get this particular body that I want. And you know what they do? They plan and say from next month or after my birthday or in the new year. In fact, so many people make new year resolutions and then they end up actually discarding them with their first month. The point is this, start now. Don't wait for a particular, particular day, some special thing to happen. Start now, whatever that you want to do, start now. Yes, so those three things. Number one, start where you stand. Number two, use what you have. And number three, do it now. So from my Snow Peak hideout, have a nice time. See you next time at the MC Moments, hopefully in another county. Bye-bye.